All right, y'all. Three weeks ago, I was uh, going through YouTube, just browsing, and uh, I saw this thumbnail about the Inu rig from a. It's a YouTube channel from Japan, and they were talking about the hottest new uh, worm rig that just came out in uh, Japan. And uh, I gotta say, it was freaking mind blowing. Uh, they just took some plastic tubing and a worm, and they created a lifelike creature bait out of a worm and uh, all they did was like uh, put tubing in the worm and you run your line through the tubing and then the worm swims freaking genius leave it to the Japanese man <clears throat> anyway I couldn't wait to get out I've been trying it for two weeks and uh, I didn't want to just talk about it like repeat it like everybody else I know is gonna do I wanted to actually use it and see what the pros and cons and what the difficulties were out there and I have come up with some but uh it's time it's time for me to show you guys uh it's real simple all you need is some worms uh they were using you can use any size worm the bigger the worm the much easier it is to do i'm using finesse because that's what i use uh you're gonna need some tubing the guys have been using the coffee straws i can already see all the coffee straws disappearing throughout all the gas stations across america if you need coffee straws you can go to home depot or lowe's or any home improvement store and get some kind of plastic tubing i'm just using the tubing that jack sent me over from belgium it's some uh, rigging tubing uh, it's real soft though I would prefer if I had some hard plastic tubing, it makes it easier for the line to slide back and forth, but this works just fine. Thank you, Jack. And uh, I can't get it through the worm, so I'm using a piece of copper wire. Uh, I don't have a baiting ne needle either, so I'm a redneck, I use what I got. Well, let me show you this, this is mind blowing. <laughs> All right, so what you're essentially doing is you're gonna put it into an S form I'm a little dyslexic, so I'll make sure I get my S the right way. So basically, you're going to put it into an S form, and then you're just going to skewer it. These uh, finesse forms, they have a flat back, so it makes it a little easier to get a, a hold of. Because when you skewer it, you want to make sure that you're going through the center of the plastic. And you want to try to get it as equal as possible. On the first hole and the last hole, you want to go through at that angle. So it's about a 30 degree angle is what they're saying. I just put an angle on it, okay? I'm no mathematician, I'm a fish brain. <laughs> All right, so the first hole, you're gonna go at a slight angle like this and make sure you go through the center. Get on there. All right, so there's the first one. Uh, the second hole I just go straight on through the center very good in there and then the last hole I go at a bit at an angle again so we're gonna go in a little bit sideways again through the center as much as possible <laughs> So basically you're skewering the worm, skewering the worm, <laughs> skewer. Then you take your tubing, this is what I've been doing anyway, and you're gonna put it on the end. You have to, excuse me a second, I can't see like I used to, so. Put that on there, there we go. Actually, that wasn't that bad. And with the tubing on the wire, it makes it a whole lot easier to pull off. And you're just going to push it over to the tubing. I love this red color. And then you just pull it off the wire. And you got your skewered worm. Alright, and then at this point you would take some super glue. I'm out, so just pretend like I'm going to super glue it. You take your super glue and you put a little dab on the edge here. And then you just slide your worm over it little dab, slide your worm over, little dab, you slide your worm over, and then let it dry. Because if you don't let it dry and you try to handle it, 
Let me just tell you, I've made enough of these to use two bottles of super glue. I've super glued the worm to the scissors. I've super glued the worm to my finger. Let the sucker dry, okay? And then once it's dry, you just clip it. Oh, it's so freaking easy, it's mind blowing. Now, I will say on there, uh, the, the original uh, that came out with this rig or showcased this rig, they didn't put tubing in the very back. Uh, but with these finesse rigs and these thinner worm rig, th thinner worms, if you don't put a tube in there, you're going to rip your line right out the, the back of the worm, and then your rig's crap, it's gone. So I've been leaving the tubing in there, but if you use like a Magnum, which I think they were showing, you don't have to put the tube in there, according to them. I kind of like the tube in there. It keeps it from getting ripped up as much, but it's just my opinion. It's not my rig, so. All right. And how do you put it on the line? Well, they're showing with a round bend straight shake hook. I, I tried this too. But you know me, I'm pretty much not putting anything on my line unless it's Texas rig, so I'll show you that too. But I'm going to show you the way they came up with it first. <clears throat> okay, so this is very important. I learned the hard way. I wasn't paying attention. When you put the hook on, make sure that the point is out. And I'll show you why after I get this all rigged up. The point is out and you're not going to tie it to the line. You just leave it loose there. Here's another thing. On these thinner worms, I've noticed that the swimming action is a lot better if you get the heavier part of the worm on the bottom. So you might end up having to rig your worms upside down, which is, I've done that too. It, it swims a lot better than if I rig them head size up and tail down. Although you can get away with that by inserting a nail weight, which I've done also, and that'll help with the action. All right, so to rig, again, we're just gonna do an S. Going through the tubing. There we go. Back through the tubing. That's what happens when you get old. And then back through, or you're creating the S signature again. So basically it's going to look like this. This is what you want. Right there. <laughs> then you're going to take your split ring. And you're going to tie it on the end of the line. And that's what's going to hold your, your bait on. You just use whatever knot you're comfortable with. I like the polymer knot, but whatever you guys, whatever you use, I don't think it matters. As long as it holds, it's got to be a strong knot. Didn't wet that, but I'm not going to fish with it, so. Because if you don't glue the tube in, your rig doesn't last very long. I'll tell you. Alright, so once you get your uh, split ring in, this is it right here. This is the way it's going to look. Alright, now let me tell you the importance of putting the hook the correct direction. Okay, I was doing the Texas rig and I was thinking, oh yo, I'm so smart I'm going to put the hook this way. And uh, I don't know why, but I thought that was like better. Anyway, so I put the hook this way, Texas rig. This big old three pound spot came out and ate it. And when he crunched it, what happened? The bait went into the worm and not the fish. And so basically he ate my worm. I went to go set the hook and pulled the bait right out of his mouth because he didn't get none of the hook. Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> so now <laughs> it goes on the outside. <laughs> they show it like on their video, like you're supposed to put the hook on the outside. But I was trying to text the rig and trying something new. And anyway, lost a really good fish. Alright, and so 
what you want is you want your hook to line up with that tubing so that when the line's being pulled it doesn't get impeded so you're basically just going to skin hook in the center skin hook it and run it around like this See? that way you don't mess up your action And that is the Inu rig, and it's freaking genius, and uh, I love it, freaking genius. All right, some other things I have uh, done. They also showed this. I copied this off of them. I'm not gonna try to take credit for it. Is I put a blade on the end to add a little bit of weight instead of a no weight, and uh, that gives it a little flash, a little more action. It was like ah, it's pretty dang good. So. Uh, Another thing that I learned is that the sucker will put twist in your line like hell. I mean, you're, it will screw up your line. So I would suggest that you put a swivel on uh, just to save your line and a little bit of headache. Uh, some worms seem to float a little bit, especially if there's some uh, chop on the water. So you can also add like a split shot To help drag it down a little bit. That was another thing I learned. Uh, what else did I learn? Oh, the Texas rig. I gotta show you guys that one. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't want to cut it off. Alright, so the Texas picture. rig, it's the same thing. The only thing is, I'm out of glue where I'd show you. In order, when you want, you want this hook eye to line up with that tube. Um, because it's offset, it has a tendency to pop out, and when it pops out, it'll go into the worm. So what I've been doing, again, taking a little bit of super glue, not on the not on the tube, but on the worm itself, and just super gluing it to the side of the worm, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt your your hook action. basically the Texas rig version of it. Same direction hook, very important, <laughs> but just a little bit of super glue on that offset and that'll save you so much uh, so much trouble in the future. So that's it guys, that's the Indy rig. Um, I'm sure I forgot something so if you have any questions about it just drop it in the comments below and I'll, I'll answer as much as I can. Like I said it's a brand new rig. Uh, they just came out, Japanese just came out with it like three weeks ago. And it's just now, everybody, I've already seen four videos, they're just copying the original video. But, uh, anyway, it's a new rig, it's awesome, and, uh, I hope you guys, uh, can put it in your arsenal, because that is bad to the bone. <laughs> How do y'all like my studio?